Cabrini's core values include respect, vision, community, and dedication to excellence, all of which are being accomplished by Celine Brown's CAPS Care Program, a mission to help first-generation college students flourish in their new and foreign environment. So the CAVS Care Program, that's a first generation program that I started here. I was a first generation student myself when I first started at Cabrini College. I wanted to call home and say, how do I handle this test or exam or write this paper? You know, um, my mother or my grandmother or anybody in my family never really been to college. So, you know, I know they used to tell me, you can do it, just pray on it, you know, and that was good, but I really wanted like, how do I handle this? How do I break this down? And I really had no one to go to. Um, so that's why I started this program um, to have so students who are first generation can have someone to call on. That's why I started this first generation program. Um, and right now it holds uh, 15 mentors and 13 mentees. Um, and the mentors meet with their mentees at least once a week. Um, and then each mentee who are incoming freshmen, first generation, they meet with me at the end of each month. I found about CAPS Care through Celine Brown, and he was the Philadelphia advisor at the time, and he came to my school to talk about Cabrini, and he told me about the program. It got started because I know that working with kids over the years, I've seen some kids afraid to step up and say, I need help, or, um, or they don't always want to go to their, to their teacher who that class they struggle in, or they don't want to go to hear about their bill um, because they don't know how to ask the proper questions. So that's, why, that's how this all started. If I can put someone in place where they feel comfortable with talking with every day, sharing a story with every day, and just building a tight relationship, then they'll be more um, apt to say, you know, hey, can you help me out? Um, the program has affected me by, like, giving me like someone to ask questions to, I guess, when I came in, because I didn't really know anything, and my mentor, Krista, was in my major. So it was kind of cool to have someone to like, hey, I'm struggling with this, what do I do about it? Who do I go to? Where is that at? I always say this program is run by the mentors. I put it together, but the mentors are the one who make it, you know, so uh, if they want to give back, the more students who want to give back, the more successful this program is going to be. Um, and we have the mentees already asking for to be mentors next year to next year's incoming class. So this was the first year that they had Cavs Care, um, and right away I got involved. Um, obviously, once I graduate, I'll no longer be in it, um, but I'm, my mentee is very interested in becoming a mentor. Um, so I'm sure we'll keep in touch after graduation and kind of see how the program is growing. I already signed myself up with Celine to become someone's mentor for next semester. So as a mentor, um, my role is kind of just to touch base with my mentee each week. Um, if she has any um, assignments that she's unfamiliar with um, in the beginning of the semester, she wanted to get involved. So I kind of told her all about the uh, clubs and activities on campus. Um, so we text, touch base with each other um, and just kind of check in. Jess was my mentor and she was amazing just to have her if I had any questions about classes or just wanted to have lunch or something. It was nice to know someone else outside of the group. So one of the reasons why I wanted to become a mentor is because I wanted to help those students who kind of had difficulty learning about all of our resources here on campus and I thought since me being a senior I knew how I adjusted, how I found out all about the resources on campus. Um, so I was able to help a freshman, an incoming freshman, um, who wasn't really um, familiar with the college experience, and I helped her transition. transition um, and now we're like really good friends today, and I help her with a lot of different things. So looking back, um, when I first started with the program, um, it kind of affected me in the ways of giving back. Um, I always wanted to help the freshmen get involved, um, so I think it has affected me in realizing that um, you know, I kind of knew all about college when I was looking and, you know, for someone like her, she wasn't familiar with it. Um, what I had done um, this past fall, we taken students um, to USLI. We toured the USLI uh, building. We met with, um, you know, um, managers from USLI. Uh, and they talked about internships and we met with different workers around, some who shared their story and being a first generation. Uh, so it was good for our first generation students to see that. But what I'm doing is I'm taking them to corporate offices. Uh, uh, so that way they can see, hey, wait a minute, I can be that person because that he or she was a first generation and look where she is. It's like we went to USLI and he sh and it was just a great opportunity because they're looking to hire people and that's a great internship that pays. I'm an education major and I always enjoy helping others um, with being a teacher, you know, helping the students 
And I think um, with this particular program, it kind of opened my eyes to realizing different situations and different people. Um, so with coming to college, everyone's past experiences are different. Um, and I kind of see it as that way. I would recommend this program to other students because I know for me, it was like a weird transition. And being a first generation, like my mom really didn't have any advice for me. It was kind of coming in blind, so it was really cool to have someone that was like, I understand. Caps Care isn't the only way Salim is aiming to educate first generation students. He's also started a nonprofit called the Writing Foundation. Uh, what really inspired me to start the Writing Foundation was I was a uh, young kid student who struggled with writing myself, you know, growing up um, through that uh, middle school and high school years, working in admissions, seeing a lot of college essays from students. Um, and seeing that their, the writing part of their uh, SAT or their essay was, was hindering them from getting to college. So I said, well, why not start something up where I can run to these kids who may be afraid to speak up about their struggles in writing um, and start something now they can come to um, my classes that I hold in the summertime uh, for them to better their writing skills. So the reason why I don't give up is because I know I'm helping someone who I haven't met yet. And that, that's my fire, um, that's my strength and my energy is that I know I'm helping someone else out to get somewhere uh, that they never believed that they can go.